Sunday mornings hiding under covers I don't mind staying in with you Play your favorite movie Laying right beside me I don't mind when it's just us two That corner coffee shop we like to go Late night walks with you to take me Go swish, 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 swish. Oh, I'm be a grated potato. I'm be a grated potato. Good job. Good job. And some grated carrots. Some carrots. Bari di bari di. With you, I never feel alone. These little songs make me glad to call you mine, and you have got my head in the clouds. So you want to get rid of all this starch, all this, all this, all this. Okay. All that I need is your body next to me on rainy days. Just need your company. Don't need too much. Just your simple love and it's everything. The simple joy of hearing your voice every morning. I wake to a kiss on my face, so I don't need too much. Just your simple love and it's Together, we always have fun throughout the day. I do anything to get your attention. When you say you love me, I seem to ascend to the heavens above where we fall in love. I don't know what I would do. I just remembered I have some gorgets in the fridge, so hmm, let's add some gadgets anyway this is a recipe that you can just uh, adjust according to your liking and add any vegetables that you like but i'm just gonna go with carrots and gadgets and yeah so put some oil in your pan and then you're going to add a spoonful of your butter into the pan this people call a uh, potato hash or yeah that's what I know it's called like potato hash, but you can call it vegetable hash. But at the end of the day, it's a very balanced diet. It has uh, protein from the egg. It has uh, starch from the potatoes and it has vegetables and some oil. And so the baby is full. So yeah, you're just going to put them like that. And then you're going to cover for at least two to three minutes on each side, just to make sure that it cooks through and how do you tell it's ready you're just going to look uh, when it browns on the edges 
so you know it's ready and then you turn it over on the other side anyway thank you so much for joining me at this point and if you are a returning subscriber thank you so much for always being here if you're new my name is alice rito and i make family-based content i do a lot of family vlogs i do a lot of cooking cleaning skincare and days in my life so if that is your kind of content kindly consider staying for my premier gang Karibu ni breakfast. Ataka na njua ni ya mtoto. <laughs> Thank you for always being here to support me. As I premiere my videos, I do appreciate you a lot. A lot. So, yeah, let's cook breakfast and then get about doing the rest of the videos. So, it's ready. Here we go. They look so good. They tasted even better. And my baby really, really, really enjoyed them. Okay. So you can have them for your family. It doesn't necessarily have to be baby's breakfast. It can be a family breakfast as well. So we're just going to serve this with some fruits on the side and then get baby having his breakfast. Tucked your way into my heart Oh, you look at me in ways I never loved With you I know that this is all So I don't need to take it slow If you want me, then I believe That there's a simple remedy We don't need no miracle I think we've seen grocery haul i actually am not the one who went shopping it's happy went shopping so i don't even know what is in the bags already so i'll just be going through them with you guys and then after that we're going to do a monthly batch cooking of my cereals okay so that is the whole concept of this uh, video i'm not sure whether we're going to be cleaning the fridge in this video as well but yeah let's first do first things first let's check what's in our grocery shopping this month so yeah welcome back or welcome to my channel so yeah trying to help out so i'll start with the toiletries and the cleaning products that we got for this month he did this shopping actually in um in a wholesale thank you Tis. where are we <laughs> anyway so we have a uh, sunlight okay i can't stand with it because i have put the others over here okay now i'm comfortable <laughs> so we have a uh, one kg in a 500 grams uh sunlight washing powder according to what Kabi was telling me because he didn't carry the receipts um it's cheaper because you when you buy in the supermarket this alone is i think 350 but when you buy them together it's 400 in the wholesale so it's quite a save and as usual it's the lavender scented sunlight so yeah that is what we're going to be using for this month's cleaning and then we have meningai bar soap we usually buy the one kg one yeah, it's the 1kg Meningai bar soap. This one usually take us for at least 3 weeks. 3 weeks, which is almost 
at the end of this month so yeah and then i think he opted for sour sour bathing soap okay normally we usually go for geisha yeah but i can see there's sour and there's the lemon honey uh scent then we have the rose scent and then we have the herbal sour and then there is another one but baby threw it inside a jerry can <laughs> so yeah there is a fourth one somewhere which is white in color i'm not sure which flavor that ah, which set that is we find out when we remove it and then we have baby's uh diapers in the size large and they are 40 pieces so this one can i remember how much he told me it's going for but it's cheaper than the supermarket that's the whole point uh so yeah and then there's this thing i hate doing videos during the day because of the noise outside but um, how should i say my baby is refusing diapers my baby is refusing diapers it's a good thing because you've got to save money a lot of money and he really wants to start potty training i don't know I feel like it's too early. He's just what one and a half years. He's like literally he wants to go to the loo. He's going to the toilet and removing his uh, like shorts or whatever he's wearing. So I feel like it's time to potty train him, and it kind of scares me that it is also exciting. So this might be the last <laughs> diapers we buy. I'm not sure, but I. I don't think we'll be buying them as often because during the day he doesn't wear diapers. He only wears them at night now. So, yeah. Then we have what? We have cereals over here. I want to finish with the cereals because those are the ones we're going to be boiling. So we go to the other shopping. So in this other shopping, we have serviettes. It's the Sifa service. They are soft and strong. I have never seen them before. So that is a change. Normally, we don't have a specific uh, menu we go for. Personally, I prefer K. K service, but is it K or F? F. K. F. Whichever. Then we have toilets. Premium. Hubby is so into these nowadays. The ones with the red <laughs> dots. So yeah, four pack. Mm. We we have some more we had bought in the middle of last month, so it is gonna take us a while. And then we have some lala, kinangok lala, natural lala. This is buttermilk for those watching me from abroad. Buttermilk. Uko tonight mala. So we have two packets of lala for ugali days. And yeah. Not a lot of people in this house takes mala. I think it's just me. Okay, happy does, but mostly I end up using it to cook uh, tea scones. But anyway, yeah, and then we have uh, five liters of fresh fry. We have about a liter here that is gonna take us for like a week. And this one will continue for the rest of the month. And we have a jab. I had used one of the ajabs in the morning to make baby's breakfast at in the morning just a few minutes ago and we have another ajab over there then we have maize flour we don't eat ugali a lot in this house uh, i don't even know what we eat for sure i think there's so many variations of food but what we go through the most like a lot is potatoes because you will find sometimes we eat Matoke, sometimes we eat mokimo, and mokimo in our household is mokimo green, mokimo with um, uh, like minji, mokimo with it's like a different variation of mokimo, so we don't tend to go through ugali a lot, maybe once or twice a week. So this will last us for like two to three months, and then we're gonna ah, two to three weeks, and then we're gonna add. Because we, we really don't. We eat ugali mostly because of the small babies. And even when we eat, it's usually a very tiny piece. But we are not a fan of that. What I know we are going to add for sure, for sure, is the wheat flour. And yeah. Then we have sugar. 
two kgs of sugar so those are the essentials i feel like we needed this man Abi said he's broke <laughs> so we are doing it on a budget and yeah so ha, so what is remaining here is um things for breakfast for thai like the sausages smokies abrons whatever we are over them so i think that he will add today or tomorrow and yeah everything else survival we usually get milk from a supplier we don't get it from supermarket so yeah that's that and then we have uh, rice this is rice we usually get rice from our cereal stores this is 2 kg rice it's gonna take us a while as well and then we have wairimo I use Wairimo to cook my Gideri, so we're gonna get some maize, like green maize, later today, and make some Gideri for the freezer. And then we have some current label cheese. Feels like Kamande. This is special special dengu. I think this is special dengu. Yeah, it's like uh, green grams, but the special kind, the longer one, which is not green, goes really well with some meat and some chapos. Then we have kamande, kamande for sure. You can't lack that in a kikui household. <laughs> I feel like. Yeah, and then we have some groundnuts that we're going to be roasting later. And then we have uh, some yellow beans. Yeah, so yellow beans, kamande, dengo special, wairimo, and rice, and some groundnuts. And that marks the end of our haul. So, yeah, we're just going to jump right into preparing our cereals, okay? So, I'll put this away, and then to end the lay. To so. 21 was too young I was gone, you were drunk She was there, I was not I know, I know 22 is when I knew That I couldn't end up with you And there was nothing I could do I know, I know And I used to be angry for the years I never got back, I never got back and I We are done with the haul and uh, uh, putting things away And now, I wanna get into preparing our cereals And I'm thinking, um, since we don't have the green maize We're going to start with the yellow beans then I will only cook like a kg, so half of this will take us through the month. Okay. Usually have beans uh, how many times a week? I think once, once a week on the days we are having um, rice. So once a week means four times a month. So if one kg will be divided into four once in a year. Okay, so yeah. Our local green uh grocery uh cereal shop usually do a very good job of sorting. As you can see, they are not that dirty, but you have to sort them through again just to confirm and to make sure. So I'm not gonna do that with you and just time lapse you guys and then I'll boil. My commanders I usually prefer to boil them on the day I'm cooking them. Because they are very fast to like uh, to like boil, but I think now I because yeah I won't be as available now. I'll do kamande and the dengu. So we're going to boil them as well and put them in the freezer. Make it easy for my household and yeah. So let's do this. Shine bright up all night. We're never slowing down Fall in love, drunk mistakes We're bound to hit the ground Gotta keep this feeling Keep on breathing Even if we're slipping away So I close my eyes and lose myself now Do it like it's only a day 
pressure cooker to boil my cereals and I yes I use my gas to boil cereal as opposed to boiling using a uh, jiko one because it's more economical trust me it's more economical I know this we are gonna crash with a lot of people who are viewing me but it's more economical let me tell you why when I use my pressure cooker and the gas it will take me about 30 minutes to get these beans ready not even 30 maybe 20 25 minutes it will release uh, pressure twice and the beans will be ready okay but when i use um a jiko with charcoal i will have to refill the charcoal at least three to four times before my beans are ready so i will have spent about 150 shillings i don't know how much charcoal costs right now but i am thinking it will be a higher cost than the gas it takes to cook because the amount of gas i use to cook my beans is exactly the same gas i would use to cook my rice okay or my other food so i usually prefer to use gas as opposed to using charcoal and it's more environmental friendly so <laughs> anyway i'm just saying i use my gas to cook so don't crucify me for that it's just my logic it makes more sense so yeah and for the dengu, we are not going to use the pressure cooker, we are just going to use normal uh, pots because they, they get ready very fast. So if you use a pressure cooker, they are going to turn into mush and you got to be very careful because these ones have a lot of pebbles and stones. Two, three, four. I know you needed me, but I needed you more. When did this love become about keeping score? I don't know, but I'm trying to figure this out on my own. So, I was going through the other cereals that uh, I had and I just came across some Modokoi. <laughs> I had bought Modokoi. I promised um, one of the YouTubers, her name is Lan with Flo. She's an amazing, amazing content creator. I like the way she cooks her eggs and the way she cooks her dairy because she loves Gideri girl. Oh my god. And I was telling her how my Gideri never turns out like hers does. Hers usually has a very Gideri color. Mine has a beans color. Like it's red whenever I cook. Anyway, I'm saying I got um, this Mudokoi because of her. So please run to her channel. Don't mind the pressure cooker. So run to her channel. Tell her Alice Rito sent you. And yeah, so learn with Flo. Shout out to you, girl. Anyway, uh, I'm saying this modokoi. I think I'm gonna cook it, <laughs> and we're gonna have it for dinner. It's not a lot of it, but I think it will be enough for us. So, yeah. Anyway, the other thing I found is that we have more wairimo beans. That and that will be good for Gideri. And then I have some wheat I had bought a while back while cooking bulga. But we're not gonna have that. And then, what is this? Jesus Christ. We have very small things. And we have some beans that are not uh, well removed. I think this is what I use to cook my bulga. Okay, plus maybe some yellow beans. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> and then uh, we have these black beans that are as old as almost one year that we don't cook. I used to eat them when I was uh, when I just gave birth to my son. And I got over them. Like, I can't even stand them anymore. But I think we need to cook them before they get some weevils. And then, we also have some bazi. I told Jane Lagarde to tell me when she wanted us to meet so that I can give her some bazi. Jane! We we'll cut out to patane, but it's okay. I'll have to eat uh, the bazis. I had a lot. I had like five kgs. 
and I have given most of it out. So this is what is remaining. I think this is about a kilo. We're going to cook them and we're going to force ourselves to eat. We don't love bars. I don't. So yeah. Love someone. Love you they don't. groundnuts are ready really really oh well done you can always use a uh, sufuria to do this you don't necessarily need to bake them but i prefer the baked one or roasted one if you want to call them that and then we're going to put them in this jar and they're going to serve as a snack for a while anyway so these are the cereals that we are waiting to cook and i won't show you me cooking every bit of it i'll just show you once they are done i guess or just a snippet of the preparation but yeah i hope you're still enjoying the video this far thank you so much for being here yeah i do appreciate that you have watched to this point so keep watching and leave me a comment don't forget to subscribe if you haven't and give this video a thumbs up it really does help my channel and don't skip ads please don't skip ad don't be tempted to skip ads okay that's what is giving me a coin to continue doing this so please don't skip them thank you guys okay this is much later in the evening of course you can tell but tonight i just took a shower and our beans we were waiting for them to cool down okay so so that we can put them some people usually put food like in the freezer when it's really hot i don't understand the science i know they have to cool down so that is it so this is our black beans that is the match that came from it this is our motokoi i told you it was not little we're going to one for lunch tomorrow motokoi oh, so yeah then then we have our special dengo so we're going to pack this and do it in the freezer so anyway so for now thank you so much for watching to this point i'll see you in my next video Bye.